going on? It's really weird. I'm trying to like do it through there, but it's not working. Hello, darling. How are you? How's it going? Hey, Sarah. How's everyone doing? I'm good, darling. How are you? How are you doing? I'm absolutely bloody fantastic. Good. I love to hear that. That makes me so happy. We all want to be bloody fantastic. And you are bloody fantastic. We are all bloody fantastic. Afternoon, lovey. Hello, darling. How are you? Such a good news. I hooked up with SP again the other night, literally on the day. I was spiralling. Good. That's great. I love that. I love that. I'm going to start taking pictures of like the successes I get on the lives. Like when people comment, take pictures and like scrape all the pictures out so I can share them. We are all absolutely fantastic. Yes, we are. Thank you for the rose. You don't need to send me anything though. You don't need to send me anything. I have amazing news too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Really? Do tell, do tell. Oh my God. These teeth are just so white. <laughs> We on contact, however, is more physical than emotional towards me. Any suggestions, please? Okay, so you have an assumption based on what he's doing, right? Because he's only reflecting what you think that he's more physical than emotional. So you've got somewhere within you, you've got a belief maybe that it could be anything from not feeling good enough for them to be emotional towards. Maybe you have an assumption that they only want to be physical with you. So you need to start affirming the opposite. He is so open and emotional towards me. He, express, he expresses his emotions to me so easily. Um, I'm his safe place. He loves being emotional with me and opening up to me. So you just need to affirm the story where he is that version. He is the version that is so emotional and easily expresses his feelings and how he feels towards you. Okay, so number one, I was manifesting for old SP, but that ended, ended due to domestic violence. Okay. Hi, Maria. Two, a new SP came in, give me everything I want and more. Great. Good, good, good. Understood. Thank you, dear. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Vix. Hi, Helen. Hi, As Does Makeup. I'll just start trying to see people. Hi, Mindset Rebels. How are you, darling? Hi, Pats. Hi. Hey, gorgeous girl. How are you? How are you all doing? Three. Then old SP came back offering me the same. Like, what? Yes, it happens. Oh, my God. Hi, Pats. How are you, darling? You are so gorgeous, by the way. Very red. Oh, thank you. Do you know what? Right. What? I, I know I say this, but it is a feel. I don't look like this in real life. I can promise you, like, I don't look. Hang on. All right. See? See the difference? Did you see that? Just to show you how filters can change the way you look. You have helped me so much. Hang on a minute, let's read some of these. You've helped me so much. My life has truly changed because of changing my self-concept. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Vix. That's amazing. Is your name Vix? My manifestation worked for both of St. Old SP Packing. I'm way too happy now. Good, I love that. Great. Go, girl. I'm watching your videos. Oh, thank you. Hi, lovely. Hi. No way, still beautiful. Still gorgeous. Yes, it's Vix. Oh, lovely name. These filters are just something else, but once you start using them, you just can't stop. Like, I don't, I'm not like unhappy with my appearance or anything like that. I don't really care, but I just, I don't want people to come on here and see it. I'm like, oh, you look so nice. And people think that this is what people look like, you know, and it's not like completely different. Like my nose, see? My nose gets way smaller for starters. I don't know why that does that. Uh, anyway, I've been living in the end of feeling delusional. Is that normal? Yes, yes, yes. Me and my friend yesterday were on the phone talking, voice noting, and we were being so delusional. It was actually funny. We was laughing so much because we were talking as if we already had our desires, which is what we should be doing. We should be talking, thinking, at, like, just being that version of us. And I was voice noting her as if I already had the desires that I wanted. And it feels delusional, but that's what I would be doing if I was in that state. Therefore, I put myself in that state by thinking it. 
SP said he's not interested, how to revise. Okay, so if he's saying he's not interested, he's just reflecting you. Okay, so he's reflecting something within you where you maybe thought you're not good enough. Maybe you thought he's not interested. Maybe you thought other people are better. Like he's just reflecting some belief that you have within you. Okay, so you need to affirm the opposite. So what would your SP be like in your desired reality? And how would your self-concept, the idea, the image you hold of yourself be in your desired reality? So for example, you could say things such as, I am loved unconditionally. I'm always chosen. I'm the best. Nobody compares to me. SP is so madly in love with me. I'm his safe place. I'm his one and only woman. He's so interested in me. Or anytime I'm interested in someone, they're even more interested in me. They're so in love with me. You affirm the story that you want to experience. I'm afraid my SP is going to hurt me, but I don't know what I want from SP anyway. Oh, okay. Well, listen, if you're thinking that they're going to hurt you and that's the state that you're dwelling in, then they're literally going to show up that way. But don't fear it. Just change it. You change any minute. Right now you can change. Change your story. Nobody ever hurts me. People always lovely to me. People always kind to me and supportive of me. My self-concept is so on point that I barely affirm for it anymore. I am sounding good. I love that. I thought I was going crazy. No, you're never going crazy. Why do you think we have an imagination? We don't just have an imagination for no reason. We have an imagination because that is what's real and then is pushed out and reflected back to us. We decide what we want to experience in here. We shift internally in here and then we experience it. It's like creating a film. You decide in here what the film's going to be about, the script, the actors, the actresses, the storyline, the plot. And then the film is made. You think about it in your mind. And then everyone gets their parts, the film is made, and then it's a movie and it plays on the screen for everyone to watch and experience, like when you go to the cinema, right? So you're choosing, sorry, my baby is, you're choosing in your mind the story, the film, the movie that you want to experience, and you persist in that, knowing that it's going to be reflected back. I want a better relationship with my family back home. What could I say or do? Okay, so you start affirming that story. Me and my family have such a good relationship, you know. You can even, if you want, you can even revise it and revise the story that's led you to where you are, but you don't have to. You can just start thinking thoughts and start shifting your mind and directing your thoughts to the reality where you are having such a wonderful relationship with your family. They're so supportive and they value you and they respect you and they love you unconditionally and they're always there for you and you all get on so well. You've got such a strong bond. You have such a good relationship. So start affirming things like me and my family have such a strong relationship. We have such a strong bond. We get on so well. Everything is perfect. We're like the strongest family. Affirm for the story of what you want. <clears throat> I've noticed communication has been improving between SP as well. Some persistent. Absolutely. And also don't get hung up on the 3D in the sense of like you you can this this is what this is just an example of some things that can happen, right? You can get some uh contact or whatever and you're like, oh my god, it's working, and then it can go back to being cold again. And you're like, what the fuck? It's not working, but it is, it is working, it's just not dominant yet. So you may get glimpses and little trickles you know, of your new story that you've been affirming, they might come in, mate, mate, they might come in and start talking to you, treating you the way you want, and then all of a sudden they're back to how they were again. You're like, what the fuck? But that's when you keep, that's when you persist even more. You're like, no, no, they're fucking so in love with me. I'm the fucking best. I'm so loved until the new story becomes dominant. And you'll know when it becomes dominant because you won't feel triggered, you won't react, and you'll start seeing it continuously reflected in your reality. I reached out to SP Sunday, no answer. I'm trying not to take it badly. Okay, so don't take it badly. We give everything meaning, okay? Give it good meaning. Your assumptions manifest, your thoughts, beliefs manifest, right? So assume that he was just busy and start affirming the story of what you want. So SP is always communicating with me. SP is always talking to me. We talk all day, every day. SP just can't go a day without talking to me. He loves talking to me. You're thinking those thoughts. They will be affirming that I'm a priority. Oh, this has gone red. I don't know if you can even freaking hear me. Do I manifest him back? Hang on. I'm in a new relationship now. My old SP is as well, but I still think of him. Do I manifest him back still or not? That's completely up to you if you want to. It's up to, it's up to you. Like, there's no, there's no rules. If you want to be with your ex, then you can. I'm not being triggered anymore by the 3D. Good. That's a good place to be. And even if you do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, I used to get, like, so hung up on, like, myself reacting to something in the 3D. And then I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, oh, why did I do that? But literally every single moment... Like, there's no past, there's no future. Every single moment is happening right now. So the moment you react, it, um, that he's always texting me. 
He's always texting me. He loves talking to me. Yeah, I love your analogy of the room and going into the new one. That is my favourite thing to do, is to find analogies and come up with analogies that help people understand it. It's literally like being in a room you don't want to be in with people that are treating you like shit. You don't want to be there. You walk out of that room and you walk into the other room and you focus on them. You don't give any meaning. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, we don't need to dwell on what's happened. We really don't. I'm tired of this old story. I just want us to be together. How do I start over on getting him? Okay, well, release the old story. Let go of the old story. Like you said, you're tired of the old story. Stop focusing on the old story. Shift your mind and your awareness onto the reality you want to experience. So if I was to ask you right now, what is your desired reality like? What is your desired reality like? How are you treated in your desired reality? What is your SP like in your desired reality? What is your relationship like in your desired reality? Who are you in your desired reality? And the answers you get are going to be the things that you affirm. So for me, in my desired reality, I am loved, I'm a priority, I am worthy, I am chosen. Um, my kids are well behaved, <laughs> really, really well behaved. Um, I move, I live, in a, I live in a different house, I can finally drive because I'm too scared of driving, I need to, so in my desired reality, I can drive. I'm with my person that I want um, and we're happy and everything is just beautiful and you know we're just happy I just want to be happy like I'm happy I feel I feel like I'm a priority I am made to feel special like these things these things like you have to ask yourself like how do you want to feel like how do you want to be in your reality so like like this is just me giving an example like what I was just saying so like I want like in my in my desired reality in my relationship my desired relationship with my person I would say something like I want to be happy I want to be excited and I want them to be supportive because I'll be supportive and I want to be there with them for their good days and their bad days and I'd like them to do the same for me and we just you know admire each other and be there for each other and love each other and have fun together and you know it'll be exciting and we'll travel and build an empire together like it can literally be anything love how I explain everything oh thank you when you started the law of assumption, how long did it take for you to take control of your world fully? And do you have to believe your new story for it to come to life? No, you do not need to believe it. You will eventually, but you don't need to believe it. You just need to think it often. And I know some people say you only need to think it once and let it go. That you have to say it a few more times for it to really sink in because you're reprogramming it. You've got to get rid of the old and put something new in there, right? Um, everybody's different. How long does it take? Everybody's different. You're manifesting all the time anyway. We are always manifesting, okay? It's not something some of us can do, some of us can't. We are, everything in your life is a manifestation. Everything in your physical reality is a manifestation. Manifest just me means, like, physically seen. It's here, it's manifest, it's done. Okay, so everything you want already exists. You just can't see it physically yet because you're in a different state. Your awareness is on the current state that you're in based on your old thoughts. It's hard to get when last month we were together and now back to no contact. But you just need to not focus on the no contact and stop telling that story of there being no contact, right? Okay, so you need to shift your awareness. No matter what, remember what the, the current reality you're in, the current reality you're experiencing is just a manifestation of your old thoughts. It's dead, it's not even real, okay? You want to experience a different reality, you need to shift your mind and start thinking different thoughts. Your thoughts are the cause, your rea reality is the effect. So what you persist in in here is what you experience out here. Heard that from Lars. Heard that from... To make known, I think, yeah. Hey, Sasha. Hi, Sharon. What if I just want him to regret hurting me even though I don't want to be with him anymore? I mean, you can you can affirm that, but... I mean, I, I wouldn't, only because it's just a waste of time, isn't it? But, like, you have to ask yourself, why do you feel like you want him to regret it? Because deep down you still feel hurt about it, maybe? Is living in the end being delusional? Living in the end is acting like he's already with me, right? Yes, it, listen. Living in the end is simply thinking thoughts that align with your desired reality. So you're living in the end, you know it's done. You know it's done because it, creation is already done, right? So when you're living in the end, everyone calls it delusion, but it's not actually delusion. It's just a word we give it because people don't understand it, right? It's not actually delusion because your imagination is the only real and one, the only one and real reality. And what you're persisting in here is pushed down and reflected back to you. What's one of your biggest manifestations? Uh, my children, definitely. Manifest engagement this year. Any tips? Me and SB are having some communication problems at the moment. Okay, so Evelyn, 
Stop saying me and my SP are having communication problems. Stop saying that, okay? So start saying me and my SP communicate so well. We have such a strong bond. We have such a good relationship. He speaks to me about everything. We understand each other fully. Um, you know, he always expresses how he feels to me in a loving way. And I do the same to him. Start whatever you want. You don't have to go right, right to the end. It's completely up to you, whatever you want to do. You can imagine him proposing. You can imagine your wedding day. You can imagine you going wedding dress shopping with your friends or family. Like, make it fun. Hi, Sasha. Can you give an example of how affirmations and living from the end reaches SP? Okay, so we're all one consciousness, right? Everyone is connected. Nothing is separate from you. Everything is connected. So when you think he thinks something, he gets a thought in his head. Like, in your reality, people only ever reflect your thoughts back to you. Okay, it's thought transmission. It's a re very real thing. Okay, so in your reality, the version of your SP that you've got is treating you according to your thoughts. So if you have thoughts about yourself not being loved, not being chosen, they're going to have thoughts that align with not treating you like you're loved, not showing you that you're chosen. And if you have thoughts such as SP's being cold, SP's being distant, SP's going to be thinking, no, nah, I don't really want to speak to her or him or whatever. Or if you're thinking thoughts like, oh my God, SP can't stop thinking about me. I'm so loved, I'm so chosen, I'm so amazing. And you keep persisting in those thoughts. Your SP gets thoughts like, oh, do you know what? I really want to speak to her. God, she's such such an amazing girl. I think I really love her. Like, I'm choosing her. I'm choosing her. I don't know what else. I'm choosing her. Like, it's thought transmission. Everything is... I think manifesting with Kimberly did an analogy once. And she said, um, how to explain one consciousness. Like, the ocean. Like, it's all connected. We're all connected. Hi, Sasha. I hope all is good with you. Hi, Sinead. I'm good. How are you? SP has blocked me on everything. How to undo this. Stop focusing on being blocked it doesn't matter you created that by your old thinking but it's okay don't beat yourself up about it. it doesn't matter so many of us have been blocked it doesn't matter it's just a circumstance and circumstances don't matter okay so sp's blocked you and everything how do i do this first things first stop affirming that that's an affirmation sp has blocked me on everything stop saying that stop saying that no he hasn't in your desired reality has your sp blocked you on everything no your sp is always talking to you you and your sp are together you're in a happy loving beautiful marriage or relationship and he is always there for you and treats you so lovely and is so kind to you and supportive and rings you all the time you two speak all day every day he's just crazy in love with you right you start affirming what you want you start shifting your mind away from what's going on here and onto the reality in your mind about what you want i couldn't hear you about multiple sps oh did i even answer that And also, give it good meaning. Give everything good meaning. Get into the habit of giving everything good meaning. Do you see yourself as someone that's always skin? Do you see yourself as someone that's chosen? Do you see yourself as someone that's a priority? What beliefs do you have about yourself? Your concept of yourself, the idea you have of yourself in relation to the world? Like, for me, my self-concept in health is really good because I've always had this belief that I never get sick and I rarely ever get sick. Like, literally never. Um, and I don't know why I've just had this engraved in me since I was a child that I just never ever get sick and I never do I never get sick um, when it comes to relationships I always I had a concept of myself that I was too much I was too forward and that I'd push people away and that has been reflected back to me and I also had a rela relationship I also have a belief that um, not so much anymore this is all like what I've been working on that um, I'm not good enough or other people are better than me or I'm just not that girl. I'm just not that girl that gets the date. I'm just not that girl that they want to be with. I'm just not that girl, you know? So that was a belief I had. So I would, you know, that's the concept I had with myself. I'm just not that girl. I'm just not that girl. You know, she's the girl. She's the girl. I'm just not that girl. And I'll compare myself to other people. So I changed the story. I am that girl because it's my reality. And I decide that I'm that girl. I'm the powerful creator of my reality. I always get what I want. I'm loved. I'm chosen. I'm special. I'm one of a kind. I deserve love. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be in the relationship that I want to be in. I deserve, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, we all have different concepts in different areas. Like, my concept in health is great. Not so much fitness, though. <laughs> I need to change that. But my, uh, you know, so... We all have a different concept. A concept is just basically what you think about yourself, the thoughts, beliefs, assumptions you have about yourself and about yourself in relation to things. So what is your self-concept in relation to um, relationships, love, money? Do you, do, you have a, do you believe that you're someone that can't ever have money or you're just poor or you're just never going to get money? Like, 
What is it that you believe? Sorry, I'm just rambling on now. Yes, I'm pushing the new man away as I'm comparing him with my ex. Need to change my thoughts. Yes, that's what you need to do. Thank you so much. Feels good. I'm glad. Yes, oh, hang on. What does it mean when I don't feel like manifesting more and just trusting the universe? Okay, you have to understand the universe is you. You are the universe. Your subconscious mind, whatever you want to call it. There's nothing outside of you manifesting for you. It's you and your thoughts. What you dominantly think the most is what is pushed out and reflected back to you. Your world is a mirror of you. So if you think, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not chosen, oh my God, she's better than me, oh my God, he's better than me, oh my God, they're going to get the job, I'm not going to get it, oh my God, I'm so poor, oh my God, I have no money. Like, even if that was one affirmation that I did before, and I swear, like, that night, it was a new affirmation I added into my self-concept sleep tape, and I swear, that night, it got reflected back to me. But it just depends how deep-rooted the belief is that you've got around certain things, I guess. But then you can just assume that it's perfect now, you know? How can I quantum jump to my reality? By thinking thoughts that align with your desired reality. So you start thinking as the version of you that's already in that reality. So if you had everything you wanted and you were that version, what thoughts would you be having right now? That's the easiest way to jump into it, just by thinking. It's, there's nothing external that's going on. It's all internal. It's an internal shift seeing yourself already in that job what would you be thinking how would you be feeling if you already had that job right now okay so occupy the state where you are already in that position you're already in that career you're already in that job okay and start affirming oh my god i'm so like you could even have like inner conversations with people like oh my god i'm so glad i finally got this job i wanted i knew i'd get it i'm so valued i'm so worthy i'm like the best employee everybody wants to employ me i always get the jobs i want start affirming the story of what you want with regards to the job but see yourself in your mind in there like what would you be thinking like imagine right now you've got that job that you want imagine right now you've got that job what thoughts would you be having like oh my god i feel so free 